The road George took on his way to Santa Clarita is as diverse as our community. Born in Madagascar, yes, Madagascar, the island east of the African continent, George was the youngest of nine children with missionary parents. At the time, William S. Hart's Wild Wild West films made the Santa Clarita Valley were probably the furthest thought in our young George's mind. Yet even today, George speaks the Madagascar native language. With his family returning to the United States, George had settled in San Francisco when World War II broke out. Drafted into the Navy, our smart George spent the next three years serving his country in the Pacific. Not surprising in naval intelligence. As with most returning GIs and now serving his country in a different way, George became a milkman for the Carnation Milk Company in Los Angeles for the next eight years. He married Verlene and had a daughter, Terry. As wholesome as his job was, our brave George left his milk bottles behind and joined the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Other than the usual baby deliveries and crime fighting, George rose through the ranks and eventually was promoted to captain with assignment at Peter J. Pitch's Wayside Detention Center in Cass State until his retirement in 1984. Little did he know he was giving up his gun for a gavel. Santa Clarita was a valley made up of small towns, only a stopover point for gas and to freshen up. With a growing population, Sootyhood was on the horizon, and George actively participated in the planning and eventual coronation. He won the city council seat and then became mayor just in time for the shaking to start in the 1994 earthquake. Those of us in business found the city instrumental in helping to get the community back on its feet. Because of George's leadership, the critical formulative years during George's involvement established the economic basis for upcoming prosperity, allowing the valley to thrive over the ensuing years. The threads of George Pedersen's heroic role have been limitless and include involvement in the Boys and Girls Club, Child and Family Development Center, the SCV Senior Center, and the American Cancer Society and Heart Associations. For these reasons, we honor George Pedersen. Coming from Madagascar, a young George could have not dreamt he would become a founding father and eventually play an invaluable role in taming our William S. Hart's wild, wild west.